News in the last 30 minutes, the state's positivity rate has dipped to 2.35%. That is down from nearly 3% yesterday. In the last 24 hours, 339 people have tested positive. Nine more people are in the hospital, and there have been seven COVID-related deaths in the past week. And some more breaking news we're following this afternoon. New Haven County has now been added right to the CDC's list of COVID hotspots. That's where the risk of COVID spread is considered substantial. According to the CDC, new COVID-19 cases have almost doubled in Hartford County in the past seven days and more than doubled in New London County. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Courtney Zeller is live for us this afternoon. She's in East Hartford with more on how they're combating the rise in cases there. Courtney. Well, Mark, East Hartford, along with some other towns and cities in Hartford County, have kept their vaccination clinics open. East Hartford, uh, actually, they have a few clinics coming up. One is tomorrow at their local farmer's market. They have also been conducting outreach and education for their residents, which includes volunteers going door to door, urging residents to get vaccinated and answering questions about the COVID-19 vaccine. We talked to East Hartford's director of health, we asked him what age group is getting COVID-19. He says it is mostly those in their 20s and children. What we're seeing here is similar to what the state is seeing as a whole, which is those people that are experiencing COVID now are largely unvaccinated individuals. Mm -hmm. And remember that mass vaccination clinic at Rentschler Field? Well, we asked him if that will make a comeback. We'll have the answer at 5 o'clock. We're live from East Hartford. Courtney's other Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Courtney, thank you. The 